Hi everyone, Cinder here. Going back to XCOM 2. As I am going to build a relay right here. And we're going to build that. Now I know the time, don't worry about it. There's the gorilla targets. Um, that is... Wow, it's right here! That I couldn't have asked for that to be more perfect. <laughs> Protect the device, very difficult. I don't want the extra chrysalids. I'm gonna be sad losing out on the the supply drop. That's gonna be bad. But better that than chrysalids, which I super hate. So I'm fine with that. Andromedon, Viper, Elite Officer, Heavy Mechs, Elite Troopers, Gatekeeper, Elite Lancer, and a Codex. Ugh. Ugh. Eleven enemies. That's all we have to get rid of. I would like to mind control an Andromedon. Maybe the Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper's vicious. We know that now. All right, we're gonna counter this. We also get a herdering 98 supplies, which offset the cost we just had. We'll also get a gatekeeper corpse, or wreck, whatever it is. Shell. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Dark Fox, for your help last mission. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna take both of the Psy operatives. The main reason for that is if I can mind control the Andromedon and the Gatekeeper, we win. Nothing else has enough firepower, except the heavy mech, but hey, we have uh, blue screen rounds here along with the combat protocol. If we get those two, we're in super good shape. Um, take... Take the Battle Scanner. Wish I had the alien amp, but we'll get that after this mission. Because we'll get all the supplies for it, just about. Along with... Uh, the uh, shell we need. Yep, I think this will work. Man, if I gave the blue screen rounds... Five for bonus robotic damage. That could be funny. Put them on mills and just fan fire. Like anything robotics dead. Plus five, three shots. Once you pierce through the armor, that's not a bad choice. Over the, uh, actually. Well, then he loses what the bonus one damage. That's the reason I have these on. I remember now because they just flat out give one additional damage to everything to give the pistol just that much more firepower. Yep, I remember. I got this. <laughs> All right, let's go. Because I don't want to see additional chrysalids in my mission. Forget that. We wait for it to load. Top secret communication. Operation Blind Ring. A resistance operative managed to rig up some sort of data interception device through an access point on the Advent network running through here. The data is apparently critical to the alien's latest operation, and they're already moving to destroy the device. We're heading in to make sure that doesn't happen. Take out any hostile targets nearby, secure the AO, and protect that device. Alright, pretending the device will be the fun part, depending on what's there to hit it. Slums District, Butcher's Hill. Cape Town, well that's a great name for a town. Or district, or whatever's supposed to be, like a county I guess? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a nickname maybe. Regardless, not great. Neutralize all enemy targets. We know there's 11, so keep count. 
and secure and protect the transfer. And we know we got a little bit of everything in this this map too. I already see some stuff. Okay. Let's... Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Where was that first pool? Oh, there's a civilian there. It was on the way here. And then there's some stuff inside. Was it inside the building? Why don't we find out? <laughs> Move here. Um, I need SD to go. Here. Move into designated position. And let me go ahead and oh, there's restoration. Forgot about that. <laughs> Go ahead and scanning protocol. Show me where everything is. S there. Civilians here. Uh, the tower thing. I don't know if they were civilians or what. Hello. There we go. Uh, not inside. On the side. There's the Viper. That would be the Andromedon I went to mind control. And... How much health? Eight. Was there a sectoid? Probably a sectoid there. No matter where we move, you get... You get seen after that. I need... Move here. On the move. Still can't see them. I need to. I need them to move forward. The civilians are just really ruining, ruining things. Um, could move out this way. That's not a bad choice. Let's do that. Getting it done. Held on. Mills can oh, can't quite get exactly where I want him to move here. Got it moving. Whoa, fancy trick. Why don't you do that all the time for me? <laughs> Phase into the ground, just like. The chrysalids were going to stop. Could move desk, not... Oh, yeah, he can actually get there. Um... Sure. Moving. Move right there. Everywhere else you get. Oh, you can actually make it there. Yeah, move there instead. Already there. Okay. They're gonna shoot at the device thing. Oh, don't go into the building. Oh, no. <sighs> you start shooting at the device. It takes seven. Uh, that's terrible. Um, I wanted them to stay outside. So nobody can see them now. Move 
here. Roger that. What do you see? The Viper? You see the Andromedon. Excellent. 79. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm with you. You work for us now. We've been spotted. Of course we've been spotted. But now I don't have to worry about the civilians. Alright, we just gotta kill the two vipers who went opposite ways. Of course they did. Um That's okay. Though, no, because 54 is not great. Move. Move here. If you say so. There, I was about to say, I know you could see from there. It had the thing. 66. Yeah, take that shot. Missed. I'll get him next time. Oof, reaction, hair trigger. Fire again. You will indeed get him next time. <laughs> I definitely got that one. Good. Oh, that's really cool when it goes off. All right, now the fun part. Somebody's got to get to the Viper. <laughs> oh, I know who that someone is. How far can you move with run and gun? Ugh. Still not great. You can see him there, really? Kind of like that. That's not bad. Can you see there? Yeah, that's not bad either. We'll go here. Run the gun? I'm coming for you. Good to go. And rapid fire. Two at 71. Grazed. Fire again. Oh, missed. Missed the target. That's a shame. Um. It's clear. Wow, you see the viper from there? That's cool. Take that shot. Nine dead. There you go. All right, we're good. Time to move people up. Affirmative. And move here. Got it, move it. All right, they're gonna fire at the thing again. And do eight an advent officer. Alright, we need to kind of get there now. I still don't like that. That's lame. That they're already they're already there and firing at it. Like, just from a gameplay standpoint. It's... Realistically, yes, it does make sense, because... They were already. They, they beat us here. But still. Um, you have battle scanners, right? Move up here. Moving to position. Throw a battle scanner. That it? Where are the rest of the enemies then? There's the heavy mech and the trooper which has been firing at it. Well move up. On the move. Oh, 
Did you trigger the mech? Oh no, we triggered that. Hi. Huh, that's not great. It's another Andromeda. Um, hmm. No, that's not good. That is that is not great. Just bust the Andromedon in. <laughs> they can start firing at him. That's not a terrible idea because I don't know if they're gonna trigger or not now that I think about it. Move? You know what? There's a good place I can get you. Move here. It's not a good place, but... What do you see? The Codex? Wow! Yeah, sure, take that shot. It'll split. Oh, miss. I say it'd split, but it'd be mostly dead. What's over there? Overwatch? On Overwatch. MG can move up. You're tired of waiting around. Can't see him. You also Overwatch. Overwatch. Move. Oh no, here? I hope it's worth it. What kind of shot do you have? 76. Fire twice! Critical, it's dead! Yes! One down, Good. thousands to go. Got it covered. And then ever vigilant. You're gonna fire at the device again, which is bad. Hi! And then here comes the Andromedon, who we're just gonna fire at. Shred 3! Missed. And you're gonna punch your Andromedon, buddy? Now, for 4! Okay, um... What's your chance to hit? <laughs> Not that one. 59. Or just fire once at 74. No, let's just fire. Missed. Ugh. I'll get him next time. Use some ammo over here. Move here. What's over there? One hundred percent chance to hit that Andromedon. Yeah, do that. All right, now it's now it's got the shell left, but that's okay. I need to move this Andromedon up. It's not gonna last that much longer. Uh, Overwatch? Because I'm gonna do this. We're just gonna fan fire the shell. Not quite enough. And fire. Did you see that one? Done. Okay, now we need to really move forward. Stepping off. Move 
up. Ten four. Got some advent here. Objective sighted. There's the objective. Menace one five. We've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all costs. That did count as triggering. How? It's not like I was went inside the building or anything to me. Um, you're gonna do damage. It's gonna annoy me to no end. Move All here. Right, go. Reload. Let's do this. And they get to go. Something did that the gatekeeper shot it? That's annoying. They're gonna kill it because I just did not have enough time to really get there. Fighting, having to fight everything. Shoot the mech! <laughs> oh miss. All right, what are you doing? That's going to be super annoying. I think they got me. They went the one armor. Right, that would hurt. Yeah, they're probably hitting because of the mark. Well, There's no way we'll be able to see the the gatekeeper in time. I don't think. Move here. On the move. Can you see the gatekeeper? Yeah. Okay. I we'll have to pull them now, and I really don't want to. I am going to have to hope. Well, no, let's let's do this. Stasis the gatekeeper. We'll deal with it next turn. So you stop for this turn. The mech needs to die. Uh, I'm going. What kind of hit can we get with this? Where's the other one? Can I get both of them? I need to just get rid of numbers as well, though. I think that hits both of them. Homing in. So, miss. Oh, of course it hits the it misses the one that stasis. Duh. Hey, you died. Okay. Um. You can combat protocol. The heavy mech. That'd make my life a lot easier. MG can move up Let's here. Move and you can stasis the officer. My mind is my shield. You don't do anything this turn. The Andromedon can still go. Fire at the mech. There we go. Good. Move. 
Well, don't move up. What's... Oh, you can't see from there. Okay, then move up. <laughs> no problem, boss. Yeah, you're cooling down. That's not what I mean anyway. Um... Face up, but then I shoot, <laughs> shoot my own. That's wrong with mind control and face off. <laughs> um, lightning hands. Take six. Who else can still go? <sighs> Running gun still not off of cooldown. Still that guy there. <sighs> Problem is, if it if he hits the thing, it's probably destroyed. health do you have left? <sighs> Move. Blast it. Fire at the trooper. Good. Move here. Go, go, go! Where do you move? Okay, missed. Incoming fire! Don't you get a shot back? Shot wide! Missed! Yeah, there's the return fire. I don't think that should have missed. Whatever. Alright, now the fun part. We still gotta get rid of the gatekeeper, one way or another. <laughs> Who do you see? You can see the Elite Lancer from there. Um... is not great. Alright, I'll go. Now we have to deal with the elite officer. You can't mind control. You can. Alright, come on. Yes! Good, don't have to worry about it anymore. Will we get the wreck, though? See, 100% chance! Ugh, whatever. Because it's an Overwatch shot. Impressed yet? Alright, now fire at the elite officer. That's a question I have now. Are we going to get the wreck? Move up. Okay, I'll go. In combat protocol, ugh, still not enough. Eighty nine Rapid Fire Dead. Okay, so I got one. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Two soldiers wounded. Really one though, the other that one was the Andromeda. 
Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Gonna catch you off there, bro. <laughs> My question is, do we get the end, uh, the uh, gatekeeper wreck or not? Because, I mean, it's not like we just leave. Like, we would destroy it, right? That would make sense. Because <laughs> we don't keep it mind-controlled. It'd be different than when we are e evacuating. I mean, we're staying there and protecting the thing. We get all the corpses and stuff. I'm gonna have to see. So if we don't, that's just a real shame because I want the alien psi amp for the group, but I had to I had to do that. So I don't think I would have done enough damage to the gatekeeper. And then the gatekeeper could have just destroyed the device. I don't like those missions. Just don't. And we're here. I don't know, just sitting here thinking about it. I really don't like those missions. We're gonna have a retaliatory strike here pretty soon too. And I fully expect chrysalids. Well done, Commander. Lightly wounded, I like the sound of that. When we ace a mission like that. Alright. Show me. Nope, you sure don't. You sure don't. We only got one wreck and we didn't get the, uh, the gatekeeper. Ugh, that's dumb. Well. And I really wanted the you advanced Cyan. You and crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. I don't know. I, I don't like that. I think that's dumb. It's not like we just leave them there. That would be foolish. And if we didn't leave him there, then I want a permanent gatekeeper and Andromedon added to my squad. Do you see him here? No? No, I don't either. Three days for Demon Slayer, so that's not bad. My point is, when we evac out, I get it. We're not taking them with us, that's for sure. But when the mission's over and we're gathering up all the corpses and wrecks like, like we are, at the end of a mission like that, why would we not just destroy the enemy? Take just one more troop off the board for the aliens and give us um, stuff to sell or research or use to build stuff. Like it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. I hope I'm not alone in that. And if you want to spout gameplay, um, gameplay balance or something, I guess, and usually I give that to you, but it's not like, what's the difference between using the one domination we have? Remember, each site operative only gets one, and just killing the unit. At the end of the mission, it's the same. They're, they're neutralized. So why don't we just finish the job before we head back? Why leave the aliens with like a gatekeeper? Why give that back to them? That makes no sense. And from a gameplay standpoint, it'd be no different than if we killed it. We just had a 50% chance to hit and we did. I don't know. That... that that just doesn't make sense to me on any level. 
And if you've been around the channel, you know I'm pretty good at looking at multiple sides of things. But I don't see I don't see another angle here. I, I don't I don't know. That's that's dumb to me. I don't have any other way to put it. <laughs> Alien alloys, not now. And that's just really bad because I wanted the. We're reading you. Okay. I I I really wanted the. See, we can go ahead and make contact. Spend the thirty intel. Setting course for sector four, Chile. Because I wanted the alien psi amp for better psionics. Attempting to establish local regional contact. All right, there we go. Continue training. Nope, that's it. Both of them are fully upgraded. Good news. You know what? I have uh, I have an additional core now. Do I need another war suit? Both Grandiers have a war suit now, right? I better make sure. Just in case a UFO does get to us, I want to make sure people are ready. Death Ball. Loadout. Yes, you do. You do have a war suit. Okay. And you have the Plasma Blaster. And the blaster launcher. Let's see. Uh, proving ground. I never did go with the spider and rat suit variants. <laughs> and I guess because of. Uh, they're good in XCOM 1, but I like some of the other stuff better. It's just me. If they work the same the same way you know this has the grappling hook I know how the grappling hook worked in uh, XCOM 1 but I'll build one so we can see it let's build a new experimental ammo or grenade Do I want a different grenade um let's do ammo talon rounds Rounds fracture into wicked micro shards of alien alloy on impact, granting plus 20 critical chance and one bonus damage on critical hits. That's interesting. All right, and let's build a rat suit. It'd just be a bigger spider suit, I assume, because they kind of came that way. 50 supplies, 10 alien alloys, 5 Illyrium crystals. Yeah, I've got enough. Build a rat suit. And one core just in case I need it later. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. And the sh uh, shadow project's almost done. Central, Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an elder? I haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration, rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the 
Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. New objective added. Here's the Skulljack on a codex! Huh. Okay. I'll try to get that done, Enigma. It looks what like time we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Yeah, we sure do, Central. That's gonna be dangerous. With time set aside to further analyze the data fragments left over from the initial our initial codex experiment, I finally managed to crack their code, and the resulting data is perhaps more valuable and shocking than I expected. I understand now why the codex was willing to sacrifice itself to protect this information. In the shadows, the alien overseers, known to us as the Elders, have continued to work in secret since the very beginnings of Advent. Although Central Officer Bradford tells me that no one has seen an Elder in the flesh for over a decade, we continue to see monuments in their likeness throughout the city centers. This is because they never left. They simply fell into the shadows, focusing their efforts on a more dire concern. The Elders are dying. Among the diverse and widely varied alien specimens we've encountered, the Elders are uniquely afflicted by some form of rapid muscular degeneration. Their physical forms are no longer capable of containing the psionic energy that is the Elder's lifeblood. Just as if, just as we've encountered these unique alien species in the field, at some point in the past, the Elders encountered them as well, and used them in an attempt to cure this plague among their own kind. Unfortunately for them, and for us, it seems they've never found this cure, and now it appears that they're looking to use humanity as their next candidate. So that's the Avatar Project, it seems. Using us... I am still hard at work on the current research priority, Commander. Using our genetic material to get a cure for their elders. Okay. The elders have always been elusive. Aside from the occasional monument, I don't imagine most of the people in the city centers have ever actually seen one in person. Knowing now that the elders are apparently suffering at the hands of some terminal affliction explains their absence from the public eye. More importantly, what sort of ailment could possibly be beyond their vast curative abilities? What can I do for you, Commander? I don't know, Tygen, but it's bad. <laughs> I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the Elders are dying off. Not me! If anything, morale probably got a boost once word spread outside of the senior staff. Sure did, I feel better. Of course, there's always a catch. They've always got a scheme. Yeah. And I get the impression we're going to end up part of their cure whether we like it or not. Yep. <laughs> That's the... That's what they're gonna do. So we need to uh, use a skulljack on a codex. And we also need to complete this mission that we're at because that's where we're going to get our uh, our time back. You know, this one, after I make contact. We've established contact with the local resistance forces in this region, Commander. We're ready to move on the coordinates we pulled from the Codex. And that is what we will New be doing. Regional contacts located. New Brazil. Okay. So that's fun. We'll be doing that. And everybody's healthy, which is more good news. 